Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, I will briefly speak about choosing an optimal value for Mac server memory setting in SQL Server. Mac server memory in SQL Server is an important setting since it caps SQL Server memory usage. If you choose low value for this, you might face slow performance in SQL Server due to increased disk I.O. and unavailable memory. If you choose high value on the other hand, SQL Server may utilize all the memory in your server, causing the memory contention. In this session, I will share how to choose an optimal value for this setting so that you do not face this kind of problems. Let's get started. In the official documentation by Microsoft, the recommended value for this setting is 75% of available system memory not consumed by other processes. Okay? So, what does this mean? This means that before you set the amount of memory for SQL Server, Determine the appropriate memory setting by subtracting from the total physical memory. First, the memory required for worker threads, then the memory required for your application or any other client-created running processes, then the memory required for other SQL Server instances, and the last memory for linked servers and extended storage procedures. So then allocate 75% remaining of the memory to SQL Server. For example, suppose you have 128 GB memory. First, we subtract memory for worker threads. In order to find how many threads you have, you can just run this command. Okay? Then we subtract uh, around 3 GB for other remaining applications. Please note that this may be different according to your environment. Some application may require 10 GB, some applications may require 1 GB only. Okay? You, you can just decide based on your environment and application requirements. Then, 1GB for linked server and uh, extended storage procedure DLLs. And finally, around 30GB for other SQL Server instances running. This is also subject to change according to your environment. Maybe you are running only one SQL Server instance. You don't need to subtract this figure, right? Then, uh, if we calculate 75% of the remaining memory, we will get the value 69 GB, which we can set. Here I am supposing that we have 576 threads, but the threads in your environments might be different. Remaining 25% we are keeping for OS for any additional purposes. So you set the value. However, please understand that we cannot exactly say that the exact number on one go. We are saying here 75% and allocating 69 GB, right? But 75% might not be enough for SQL Server. So next question comes, how we, do we check whether there is enough memory allocates, allocated to SQL Server? How do we check that this is an optimal value? The answer is, after setting this value, you should monitor a few metrics for a couple of weeks to make sure that you chose an optimal value. You can use two metrics for this. First one is target server memory versus total server memory. If total server memory significantly lower than target server memory, it means that mem there is a memory pressure. You should increase the max server memory. If the reverse, the extra memory has been allocated where you can choose to decrease the value. You can run this query to get the both values in SSMS. Second metric is PLE, page life expectancy. Generally, if PLE is lower than 300, it's considered a performance issue requiring to increase max server memory. However, some engineers may choose higher threshold like 500 or 600. Therefore, please choose this threshold accordingly and monitor this after setting max server memory. Current PLE can be checked in SSMS by going to Report Standard Reports Memory Consumption in Server Properties. As you can see, in my case, it is 527. To summarize, while choosing an optimal value for max server memory setting, allocate 75% of the available memory to SQL Server. And in, in step two, monitor the performance for a couple of weeks by using total server memory, total target memory, and PLE metrics. If you face issues with these metrics, adjust the setting accordingly. Usually, you don't need to adjust so much, a slight adjustment might be needed. Please let me know if you have any further questions related to this video in the comment section. 
and do not forget to subscribe for my future videos. Thank you.